Good Sunday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. This is our online video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you've never seen this before, it is available to you at wreg.com slash weather. Great opportunity to learn more. Sorry about the wibbly-wobbly camera. We're trying to get all this straightened out so you can see a little bit better as to what's going on here. Rest of the day today, again, should be relatively quiet. It's tonight that we're going to be looking at more of the problems for the Mid-South area in the possibility of showers and thunderstorms forecast again. Temperatures right now just past 630 in the lower 50s. Should be pushing 80 degrees for a high temperature later on today. And then tonight, temperatures back into the lower to mid-60s with breezy southerly winds out there. Welcome to everybody who's joining us live on Twitter, Facebook uh, this morning when we get that taken care of. Periscope, Google Plus, and also on YouTube as well. Drop your location into the comments section. And if you've got a weather uh, up Update for us from wherever you are in the Mid-South or beyond, please let us know and be sure to follow us along here at WREG.com slash weather and on the social media networks for more. Great opportunity to learn more on that. National Park System, the National Mall, taking a look at a gorgeous sunrise this morning over the Potomac and into around areas close to the Beltway. Also very beautiful conditions out across much of the East Coast after that last storm system rolled on through. If you'd like to follow more with these webcams out there, you can go to nps.gov or follow the hashtag find your park on Twitter to find out more there. Taking a look at Purchase Knob in the Great Smoky Mountains. Gorgeous sunrise with some clouds making their way on through there. A little bit of fog down into portions of the valleys looking back into East Tennessee and parts of North Carolina. And a little bit closer to home back into around Germantown. Temperatures back in the lower 50s with again a little bit of light sunlight making its way on through the area. Winds a little breezy east at about 10 miles per hour this morning and humidity starting to sneak up to about 70 four percent so far in and around Germantown. Rest of the day today, again, what we're going to be looking at mainly is going to be some fairly mild temperatures starting off. We do not have anything in the way of very hot weather specifically just yet, but it is going to be definitely getting warmer out there. Rest of the day, again, a few clouds drifting on through, but this is where it starts to get interesting later on to this afternoon into this evening. Line of thunderstorms starts to make its way through the Mid-South as we get into around six to nine o'clock tonight, passing into the Memphis metro area right about the time we get into around the news channel 3 at 5 it should be making its way into eastern Arkansas and then across the Mississippi River by about 7 to 8 o'clock tonight could be the possibility of some strong gusty winds with that maybe even some large hail as well and then that's going to be moving on through the area that's the first wave that'll be making its way across the Tennessee River by about 10 o'clock to midnight tonight then we get into tonight late more showers and thunderstorms overspread the area and then more chances of rainfall will be possible throughout the rest of the day on Monday, but it's tonight that we're going to be watching again for the potential of severe weather. The main threat for severe weather at this time is going to be way on down to around areas close to Houston, back to around areas of, just say, central areas of Louisiana and into extreme southern Arkansas. That's going to be a moderate risk of severe weather. Here in the Mid-South, it's not going to be quite as bad in that sense, but we do still have that chance of severe weather. We have that slight risk now for most of Phillips County in Arkansas, Coahoma, Quitman, and Panola counties in parts of Mississippi. The metro area under a marginal threat is a lesser threat in the green shaded areas, but at least we do see that possibility of severe weather and that's again going to be late tonight. Possibility of anything into tomorrow. Again, the threat mainly goes way on down to our south and to our east. Birmingham, Montgomery, Atlanta, that's where the thunderstorms are going to be into to tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. All the Mid-South will stand the possibility of severe weather as a marginal threat as that storm system will be up here and the storm system will be sliding its way on down toward the south end and the east of us. And then on Monday, the threat will be well back on off to our northwest, so not a major threat there. Rest of the day today, again, through about the next three hours, temperatures will be rising, cloud cover will be increasing, but we're not seeing anything in the way of rain showers so far, looking at dry conditions through about mid-morning. Now toward later on this afternoon, 
after we go past lunchtime and especially toward dinner time tonight that's where we may see that possibility of stronger thunderstorms coming on through areas west of us and then into the mid-south as we get into especially around news channel 3 at 10 later on tonight so that is something we're going to be watching with a lot of interest out there as we go through the rest of the day so please keep it tuned to news channel 3 also don't forget to get our app it's available at whatever app store you've got whatever platform you're on for phone or tablet download it today wrhg.com com slash weather for more information and download the weather app brand new and improved george brown our webmaster getting that out to the public there and again if you'd like to know more just download it try it out see what you think if there's anything else we can do definitely want to contact me at my email address austin.onic at wrg.com other social media networks as well also on the east arkansas broadcast network that'll be throughout the rest of the weekend on country 92.5 and oldies 102.3 if you'd like to join us there and keep up to date with the forecast as well and of course we'll have more details tonight on news channel 3 at 5 and on news channel 3 at 10 to keep you updated on what's going on with the weather across the mid-south this is a situation you're going to have to plan ahead for never a time for panic it's always a time to make certain you're prepared and ready to go for severe weather in the mid-south area especially for tonight uh, again have your car keys ready to go your cell phone charged uh, again, be ready to shelter in place should it become necessary. It doesn't look like a major threat for tornadoes where we are. It does look pretty bad down into parts of Texas and Louisiana today. Could be a lot of severe weather and tornadoes there. But for us, the main threats are damaging winds, large hail, and could be some flooding rainfall tonight, one to two inches plus in some locations. So be ready to have some of that coming our direction as well. I'll have updates on your forecast throughout the rest of the morning. We're just about maybe half an hour into daybreak. Break, so stay tuned for more on that and we'll have more details on the your complete forecast throughout the rest of the evening coming up on News Channel 3. Thanks to everybody for joining us on Periscope and Twitter. We'll have more information coming up online and on air throughout the rest of the day. And, of course, more on our Facebook pages as well, so stay tuned for more information there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for a great start to Sunday morning anyway and more throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3, so keep it tuned on air and online. And thanks for joining us for this morning's quick weather update on our video website. Weather blog, Weather Overtime.